they have these neat little cabins nestled in the woods here. Pretty cool. Another one over there. It's very nice. Pretty basic. I think they have a refrigerator. Fans, no AC. A couple bunks. They work. I think there's a few of those in a couple larger bunk houses they also have. They're very nice. This here is Constitution Grove. And why it gets that name is if you know the USS Constitution, Old Ironsides. Well, it was refurbished, I think, in the 70s. And the wood for it came from here. Yep, I think it says 1976. I got a bench up there. A little pavilion. Yep, that's the monument. I'll take the road up to the little building over there. Give you a look. Looks like this has seen better days. I got it roped off. It wasn't like that when I was here last time. Looking for a tree stump. And there it is. So there's a good chance that that tree fell and hit that building right up there. Caused a lot of damage. That's too bad. Because it is nice. Well, I guess they only got that end closed off. Gatherings and whatnot. Gives me the feel of a ship. I don't know if it's older than 76, it could be, it might not be, but this is where they got the wood when they redid it. I don't know if things would still bounce off it the way it used to, or it's famous for, but there's that. But there's miles and miles of trails around here, along the water, basically around the whole lake up and through all these woods. I think I walked almost all of them last fall. So, they're gonna get a pass this time, I think. Well, especially in flip-flops. But uh, I do have hiking boots, so if I choose to tomorrow, I might do a little hike. And ample, ample's a big word. They really do have ample boat storage. Big bunkhouse or whatever you would want to call it, gathering place, pavilion. Pretty busy today. It is Saturday. There's the marina. There's people in the building. Kayak and boat rentals. Lots of people. And here they have a fish cleaning station right there, which is nice. And there's a little building where you can buy ice and soda and beer. This is pretty nice. Have a great and wonderful day, YouTubers. That's my spot. Put the bike and the power over there. And then here's the rest of the park. That big RV right ahead of me with the scooter. A few days ago, that guy, uh, Wrecked his scooter up the hill, drove all the way down, and then collapsed out here. I came out when there was a whole ambulance crew, and I guess uh, he was never conscious when they let when they left with him, and he got medevaced. Then later that day or the next day, he got flown out to Louisville, and I guess he's in a coma. So. Be careful. I guess he had fallen off the roof of that RV that he just bought. Like, he fell off it like a week before. So, be advised. Be careful. And things happen quick. So, maybe that whole don't put things off too long is a very good way to look at life. Hope the guy's going to be alright. He had three dogs. Family had to come travel here to get the, do the dogs. I had to break in for the first day or so to, so they could make sure the dogs were all right. This is the rest of it. 
Sorry about that long story. It just goes back to the whole lesson. You know, life ain't always what we think it is. So staying a week, I was going to move down a little bit closer, but decided not to. Well, and the one spot that I kind of like was taken. Considered moving up, up to this end a little bit further, but I guess it's got some booking issues. That thing's been parked there and no one's shown up. They haven't hooked it up to power. It's just been sitting there. Looks nice on the outside. And I thought about some of these, one of these back end spaces up front. But I'm good where I'm at. I don't have a lot of bug issues. Alright, so that's a view of the campground. So there's a campground down that way. 35 or 40 spots. And there's the campground I'm in the back back there behind that other RV. Not too bad. I gotta try not to walk with this because I can't keep a cell phone still. But bathhouse, free laundry, pretty good place.